What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another Madden 23 online game. Today, we got the Miami Dolphins and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is a new era of Steelers football. No more Big Ben Roethlisberger. And hello, Mitch Trubitsky rolling out and nearly getting the first down. The former top draft pick of the Chicago Bears is getting a redo, a second chance in the Steel City to be the leader of this team, or one of the leaders, we should say. You also got Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, who got heavily pass interfered with right there, and Najee Harris, the second year running back. Third down, Trubitsky got it to Najee, but it's not a first down. So on fourth down and five, we are going to bust out the unicorn of online Madden, and we're going to punt the ball because as much as I talked about the Steelers offense today, we're trying to focus on the Steelers defense and namely TJ Watt. Look, anytime you tie an NFL record like TJ Watt did last year, we got to get you in the zone, figure out what your X Factor is all about. By the way, do not put your hands in the cookie jar. You will not get away with it. As my opponent learned on his first pass attempt of the game, that'll give us great field position and why punting the ball works, right? Here we go. We got ourselves pretty much into the red zone here off of a couple of plays and we're running with Najee Harris now without Big Ben even with Big Ben we got to rely on that ground game let Najee eat and Najee Harris is in for the touchdown we're gonna rely heavily on Najee because even though we got the weapons to pass the ball I'm just not sure I trust Mitch too much and this offensive line I don't know how much I trust this whole process. So at least a balanced attack will help us out here. And like I said, we're really here for the Steel City defense. See what Cam Hayward's all about, Minka Fitzpatrick, and of course, TJ Watt. TJ Watt has unstoppable force as his X Factor. That means we need to get three sacks to activate that. Oh man, that went over the head of Devin Bush to Tyreek Hill. Devin Bush really thought he had that pick. It's not a first down though. On third down and in inches, this will be Raheem Moster, and they're actually gonna give him forward progress for a first down. So generous spot there from the refs. So yeah, TJ Watt needs three sacks, not three tackles for loss. So that earlier tackle for loss TJ Watt got is actually not gonna help with his X-Factor progress, which makes this a really hard X-Factor to activate because getting three sacks from one player in an online game where the quarter lanes are five minutes each, it's just not gonna be easy. That's easy. Tyreek Hill, one-on-one. -on -one barbecue chicken and it's not a touchdown it's down to the one but it might as well have been a touchdown as my opponent runs no huddle and is gonna get in with Raheem Moster you saw Cam Hayward trying to shoot that gap I believe Cam Hayward has inside stuff he's also an x-factor by the way he has fear monger and fear monger I think is the same requirements as unstoppable force but you know Cam Hayward's cool and all he can do some damage but I think DJ Watts X Factor will be easier to get and we're just focusing on that as we are gonna get a Whoa a blessed kick return. There we go. Goodbye Coast to coast to the crib and this is exactly what the doctor ordered when you're trying to be on defense as much as you can while still trying to win the game That'll do kick return touchdown is pretty much perfect shout out to Calvin Austin right there he's a burner I believe he's a track star right he was a track star in college and he showed off those wheels on that kick return and the blocking was great so let's get TJ back onto the field ah that's gonna be the dilemma here we get hits with TJ Watt on the quarterback we get pressures but pressures quarterback hits they don't do anything for us for the x-factor counter it's just all about getting home for the sack as we'll just have to hope TJ Watt really feast on Tua and this Dolphins offensive line. But when Tua's got Tyreek open, you know the ball's going to the Cheetah and he's gonna deliver. So we gotta take away Tyreek from this game as Tua completely off balance. And I think they're actually gonna call that intentional grounding. Yes, they will. So uh, my opponent definitely struggling with Tua right now. Second down, we get the, wow, amazing shed there from Cam Hayward inside. And if that was a more accurate pass, that would've been a pick. Third down and 23, Tua unloading for Tyreek in triple coverage. Good Lord. He actually had the running back wide open if he ever peeped it, if he ever made another read. Thankfully, he did not. And we are able to get the interception with Minka Fitzpatrick. So a little two-minute drill here with Mitch and the boys. So we actually run it here with Najee Harris. Look at this beastly run by Najee. The first man does not always bring Najee Harris down. How big he is, you need multiple bodies to contain him right now. No one's got Najee with a stiff arm. Ho! Oh, goodbye, Najee Harris out of the scrum. He's a bully. He's got a touchdown. That was 
just spectacular by Najee Harris. And like I said, man, we want to rely on Najee Harris, and I think we were really going to lean on him that much on a two-minute drill. Not quite, but look, it was there. We were getting about 10 yards a pop, and then Najee just made the res happen by himself. That was, once again, critical for us because we want to be on defense while still trying to win this game and getting a big run with Najee. That gets TJ back onto the field. Here's to uh, watch out. That's TJ Watt with the sack. Number one out of three. And of course, when we're trying to get sacks with a pass rusher, it obviously helps when we have a lead because that naturally means the opponent's going to try to throw the ball more. We're going to get more shots at getting sacks because otherwise running the ball does absolutely nothing for us as Cameron Sutton with a little celebration right there. And we're actually going to put Presley Harvin on the field to punt the ball on first down because, I mean, I just want one more shot to get a sack here with TJ Watt. One more play. But check out what my opponent does here. He's going to punt the ball why, man? Like, wh where did we find this guy that he's going to punt the ball back to us? All right. Well, let's just try to return it here with Gunnar Oshetsky outside. We actually got something developing here. Oshetsky. Oh, moving and grooving, but brought down at the 46. Oh, man. We got past the first wave, but the second wave, I, I really need a 25 to pick up that block for me, like, immediately. He was so indecisive, it made me indecisive, so... Um, yeah, whatever shot we had right there kind of died off, but um, yeah, anyways, we got to keep this guy in the game, so maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. Our special team's kind of lit right now, though, as we get the sack. Unfortunately, it's not with TJ Watt, so it doesn't really matter as we try to get the pass rush on the user pass rush with TJ Watt. Didn't really work out because the second down 21 is now a third down and one here for the Miami Dolphins. They're in a one receiver set. They'll run it with Mostert, and Raheem Mostert going to get the first down. The Dolphins, you got a lot of Mostert, the... Uh, former couple of teams, including the Niners, and I believe he was on the Jets last year. And then we, no, no, he wasn't on the Jets. He was on the Niners last year, my bad. Uh, it was Tevin Coleman that went to the Jets. And we have Chase Edmond, the former Arizona Cardinal. Third down and 12 here, sandwiches Bridgewater, who has now checked into the game. No more Tua, it's Teddy. Wow, how about that? Quarterback change to start the second half for my opponent. Bridgewater dropping back, fourth down, smacked, but got it off to Mike Gisecki for the first. I suppose not the worst thing in the world, so we can get TJ back in here, but my opponent's actually trying to maintain a balance of running the ball despite being down 14 points here in this second half, which is not a bad thing for him, but is a bad thing for us, given what we're trying to do in this ballgame. Especially he's having success running the ball, because naturally he's going to go back to it. Raheem Mostert, nine rushes, 42 yards, and this will be play action. TJ Watt picked up, and a wide open Gusecki, the play action bootleg working out for the Miami Dolphins, and Teddy leading a nice drive in relief of Tua. I guess Tua got benched because my opponent got sick of Tua being left-handed or just wanted to switch it up, but anyway, second Second down and goal, Teddy got a touchdown. No, it's actually third down and goal at the one yard line. Gusecki was not deemed to go across the plane as my opponent gonna run it with Moster and he's absolutely denied inside. What a stuff there, Devin Bush on the scene and on fourth down, my opponent's gotta go for it here. Need two touchdowns to get back into this ball game. There's one, there's Edmonds and that was completely on me. I'm so mad because TJ Watt actually got immediate pressure. He immediately shedded. All I had to do was covered the guy in the flats and I just stood there flat footed and did nothing that was what a 15 play drive took up the entire third quarter and I don't think we got a single sack with TJ Watt so yeah that was suboptimal to say the least as Calvin Austin back on the field wow what a lane and Calvin Austin is gone again oh baby Calvin Austin might be the real deal that's two kick return touchdowns in the ball game and it's also gonna be the final play of the ball game because my opponent he's definitely dashboarded if not just taking off his xbox and thrown it out the window after giving up his second special teams return to the crib and keep in mind we nearly returned that punt as well i don't know what it was with either my opponent or just the blocking of the steelers we'll see against a different opponent if the blocking of the steelers can align this time we're going against the chargers and the good news is you know if someone plays with the chargers online as we don't take the kickback with calvin is you know the chargers they're a passing team in madden right you got herbert with abilities even austin Eckwards got you know passing abilities at running back and then uh, Mike Evans and Keenan Allen, all abilities on that offense. But Justin Herbert, one of his abilities is, I believe, passing the elite. So he's going to get that ball out quicker, which means more hit out of sacks. 
Or maybe we just get sacked. Now here's the painful thing about the fact that TJ Watts put the sack with another one of his teammates right there. It's not going to count for the counter. Not only do you need to get sacked, you need to get full sacks. So half a sack, that's not one. It's, you know, they don't round up here in EA. So that's going to completely screw us over as Levi Wallace, he's got a crib call with his name all over it. Dancing for the touchdown. That'll be a very welcoming sight because once again, we need the lead to make sure the Chargers are passing this ball and feeling under pressure to pass the ball and hopefully that can get TJ Watt dialed into the ball game. And yeah, we didn't really have to do anything on offense, I suppose, <laughs> right? The defense making plays for us once again is Justin Herbert out of control. Oh my goodness, he's almost back into his own end zone. He's gotta kill this play, man, oh man. What in the world was that all about? Quite the adventure for a simple incompletion as Herbert's second down. He'll have the time. We're going to, I believe, a four-man rush there, if not a five-man rush. And that Chargers O-line really held up well right there as he's going to go play action. Herbert bootlegging to the right side. Oh, he's still going to force it. And it's actually intercepted by Levi Wallace again. He got it inbounds. Keenan Allen missed the football. And Levi Wallace, right place, right time. But we're picked off right back by Nazir Adderley. All of this is fun and all, but man, we're just not getting anything for that unstoppable force. And that's why it's just so frustratingly hard to get, like, these defensive X-Factors, man. They got to take it from at least three to two. Because, like, three sacks with one guy is kind of insane. As Austin Eckler getting wide open out the back door right there. Austin Eckler, he's the kind of guy that if you put a linebacker on him, you're in big trouble. Even as, like, a Devin Bush, right? A fast linebacker. Eckler's just going to absolutely route him up. As Austin Eckler caps the drive off with a touchdown. And instead of tying the game, Chargers want the lead here. Two-point conversion. They'll give it to Austin Eckler, who is just going to sneak into a crevice to get the two-point conversion. So my opponent trying to set the tempo out here. That's pretty interesting as, you know, we're trying to set that tempo on special teams as Calvin Austin trying to find those lanes. But I guess it was just my opponent. I don't know. We're not really finding those uh, return lanes. But we did get to the 28-yard line. That's, you know, better than a touchback. So we can call that a good return as we go read option here with Mitch Trubitsky and Mitch using that mobility. That's going to be a part of the game plan for sure and getting the ball to Najee Harris whenever we can, but that didn't really work out. So second down, we're going to drop back the pass and Trubitsky going to Pat Fryermuth. For the passing attack of the Steelers to be any bit effective, Pat Fryermuth is definitely going to have to be a piece. Not the piece, but a reliable piece of tight end. That's not one of the weapons we got. That's J.C. Jackson with the interception. Tomlin's hands are in the air, wondering why in the world we made that read because I mean, we really had no business throwing that ball. <laughs> that was that was horrific right there. And it's picked off. Not only did we force it in traffic, it was J.C. Jackson. So it's easily intercepted as Justin Herbert right now dicing us up here. Chargers suddenly with all the momentum early in this second quarter. They feel it. They're going no huddle. Justin Herbert in a groove, getting away from Watt, but not for long. We got to click on and make that play ourselves or else the CPU is just going to chase Herbert into eternity. Oh, uh, thankful we got it, and now Watt on heavy pursuit once again. Herbert is completely out of control right now. It's third down and 20, only three on a row. Here comes Watt once again, and Herbert kills the play. He throws it away, and... You know, once again, we get these pressures with Watt. You see TJ Watt is absolutely dominating and creating havoc, but it just show, doesn't show up on the X-Factor counter. Like, TJ Watt is dominating this game, but all it shows is one out of three. We can't even count that damn half a sack as Calvin Austin. Oh, my, just a little better, and we could have cribbed that one as we actually get positive yards out of this play. I, I think I didn't even know what the play call was when I called it. Like I thought it was a passing play and it was an RPO or something and ran backward. It was it was weird, but we actually got four yards out of it. As Well, we can expect that from Mitch Trubisky, I suppose, but Mitch bouncing back to Najee Harris. It's not going to be a first down, but it sets us up for a fourth down and one to punt. Yeah, we're going to punt here. Fourth down and one, and we're just going to play as sim as it gets here. Maybe a little too sim, but I like you guys understand by now we're trying to get on defense so on fourth down and one why not punt the ball here and let's get tj watt going because like i said tj watt is really wrecking havoc in this game then we got a legitimate shot at making it happen especially the way this guy's playing completely out of control but he actually got it to mike williams that time levi wallace trying to get his third pick as herber he's gonna go down low to Eckward. this guy 
I mean, it's a really boom or bust kind of style, right? You make all of these plays, but every once in a while, we can get home for the sack as we try to dial up the all-out blitz right there. TJ Watt was turned loose, and that's, of course, an easy way to get the sack, but Herbert, he's able to get, especially Austin Eckward, down low! But TJ Watt walloping Herbert. That's number two. Only need one more, and we have a whole half to try to make it happen. Fourth and 15, Herbert! Whoa! Nearly intercepted by Minka Fitzpatrick. It's a turnover on down. Super sketchy. Just about as sketchy as that. Quick read. Intercepted by Derwin James. Back on defense we go. And Watt is home to the quarterback once again. TJ Watt now has unstoppable force. That's the end of the first half as my opponent ran no huddle in. That took the clock down to zero. Weird way to end the first half. A couple of turnovers and a sack. But we will start the second half with TJ Watt lit up with unstoppable force, which means he's just going to be an absolute dominating force rushing the passer. I'm actually going to get on TJ Watt here and see if I can make it happen myself, or at least try to as we're messing around with the camera as well. He actually ran the ball on first down, but big Cam Hayward inside making it happen. Second down. Now he'll drop back the pass. Oh, look at the speed rush from Watt, and down goes Herbert. Watt is home to the quarterback once again. Now we're going to let CPU Watt try his luck out here and TJ Watt look at that quick shot he gets the Herbert but Justin Herbert's actually able to unleash a nice ball to Keenan Allen and get a fourth and manageable for the Chargers they go no huddle they got us stuck in this three down lineman set and they'll run the ball Austin Eckler for the first down oh man we actually need to get that stop because, I mean, we're trying to win this game, and that's not going to help us. Whoa, that'll help. That's a bailout. That should have been a touchdown. So, TJ Watt, I don't know. I think it's like 10 yards to get him out of unstoppable force, 10 passing yards maybe. But, yeah, that uh, Keenan Allen play was about 20 yards, so that easily killed the unstoppable force. Oh, please throw that a little bit more on target so I can pick it with Miles Jack. I was ready for that wild throw, but instead it's fourth down and nine, and Herbert with TJ Watt free again, gets it to Keenan Allen for the first down. Oh, man, we just have to hold up for a little bit, man. Watts really just dominating his matchup. We just cannot give up quick plays. This time, Herbert has time, and he delivers to Gerald Everett for the touchdown. We had him backed up at a third and 22, and a fourth and 15, and he gets a touchdown out of all of it. As a two-point conversion here, once again, Chargers going 4-2, won't get it, and that didn't really work out for them. Now they're going to go for the onside kick. This guy's playing out of his mind right now, and I just kind of let it happen. I was like, you know, we go back on defense, whatever. We actually get the recovery. Now we can work on trying to put together a touchdown drive to get back into this game, and... Yeah, now that we are trailing, remember what I said, right? When the team is trailing, that's going to get those pass rushers more opportunities. The Chargers got two really good ones. They got Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. That's trouble for us. So what we got to do is just run this rock with Najee Harris. Even though we're losing, Najee is our best form of offense right now. Najee actually getting some positive yards out of that rugby scrum as we go no huddle. Do we give it to number 22 once again? Yes, we do. Najee falling forward, getting to the one. Third down and goal. We run no huddle again. You know where this ball is going, right? Wait, we're passing. Oh, it's still going to Najee. And he gets away from Kenneth Murray and scores the touchdown. That was a bit of a bailout right there. My opponent quicked on with Murray and just put himself out of position. I, I was actually expecting a run commit right there. That's why I threw it so quick to Najee, and uh, we didn't get it. So his defender was just squared up outside, and he, he moved Kenny Murray out the way, rolled out the red carpet. Sure, why not? We'll take the touchdown. And now let's focus on trying to win this game as you see... No one really getting home on the pass rush, and that's going to give Herbert the time. And whenever he has the time, man, someone's going to be open in this Chargers offense, especially Eckward down low. Here's Watt again. What's that? Five and a half sacks for TJ Watt. He's absolutely turned on third and 17, Herbert. Oh, that's a bad throw to Eckward, and that's going to ruin a chance to get a first down because Eckward had a lot of green grass to work with. Fourth down and 12. He's going to punt the ball. No, he's going for a fake. It's a fake. Punter with the ball in his hands, throwing downfield, and intercepted by Pierre. What in the world was that? Look at Pierre on the run back. Immediate red zone opportunity, down by three, with a chance to take the lead in this game that we played some pretty horrific offense in, and hopefully we can buck the trend. Second down and 12, Trubitsky, no! What in the world was that? I'll tell you what that was, me hitting the wrong button. This was my first time playing on PlayStation this year, these uh, two games, and 
I still mix up circle and square. Man 23, still the same problem. Right now, the problem for Herbert is these pass rushes we got. That was actually Miles Jack right there. So, yeah, that was a bonehead play. We had the field goal in the bag, and square was wide open down low. And, well, we're actually going to win the game because my opponent, I think, lost connection. Weird. Very weird. Um, I'm, I'm guessing something happened to his connection right there. No reason why he would quit the game in that situation. He was leading. But, uh, hey, man, we kind of got bailed out. I don't know if we would have won that game. I'm actually a little upset that he bit lagged out because I kind of wanted to see that game through. But... Uh, it is what it is, I suppose. You guys will see that we actually did end up getting the win for that game here in our record. So, leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today. TJ Watt is super dominant here. So, if you got the Steelers in a franchise, you're just loading up with the Steelers, man. TJ Watt is the real deal. Along with Cam Hayward inside, man. That front four goes crazy. So, yeah. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.